Hi everyone and welcome. For those who don't know me, I'm Keely and I, I'm a teacher at the La Salle College. I've been teaching there for 13 years and I'm also a post student of the La Salle College. I would now like to introduce my colleagues and very good friends, Bianca and Joseph. Hi everyone, I'm Joe. I used to teach at the La Salle as well for two years and now I'm a volunteer youth minister in the La Salle Retreat Centre in the UK. Hi, my name is Bianca. I used to attend the De La Salle Sixth Form as well, and now I teach there. I'm in my seventh year and I teach biology and science. So in our La Salle ethos, we talk about our five core principles, as you can see now. In the Lasallian world, we also very often hear the words faith, service and community. So guys, what do these mean to you? Well, so these are the three Lasallian um, pillars that all Lasallians strive to follow. It, they are faith and it's any faith, so it can be, uh, doesn't have to be Catholic. We have to remember that there are many centers and schools abroad that are not Catholic, but they are still very much Lasallian in the presence of God. And this drives our will and our hope to be of service to others with a community of people with common goals and beliefs. I agree with Bianca. I think these are three pillars that every Lasallian should aim for. However, I was told as well that there are like three doors uh, that one can choose to enter. So one can choose to enter through faith, one can choose to enter to service or for, through community. And whatever door you choose, you aren't any less of a Lasallian. And from my experience, I found that whatever door you end up choosing to enter through, uh, you will still end up walking on the two other paths as well. So today we will be focusing on the first core principle, which is faith. Why do you think this is so important? I believe that faith gives us hope that we can make a difference in this world and we can leave our mark on it by touching the hearts of others. It drives us to keep going, especially in difficult times, and it helps to guide us down the right path in life. Yeah, I agree fully with Bianca. I think faith is that power that pushes you through the most difficult situations. It's that power that helps you to make sense out of events that you can't really fully understand. And it's the power that helps you to see yourself as a person who can change the world. So what does faith actually mean to you? To be honest, I shouldn't lie and I won't. Um, sometimes I find it difficult to keep my faith alive because there's so much going on. Sometimes it's so hectic and so non-stop. But then sometimes you get these little moments, these little events, and then during these moments you can really feel it somehow it can be the silliest thing it can be the way my cat looks at me one time it can be the way the the sun is shining and it's a particularly bright day that day it could be a student coming in the morning to say how are you miss but i believe that god is present in all his creation so it makes sense to see him in others and um, i believe that these little moments are reminders um, for us to keep the faith and to believe. So I believe it's really important that we actually look out for these little reminders in our life. Um, I too struggle um, to keep my faith grounded, especially when you look around and see wars, you see injustices, you see people suffering. And I think it comes natural that you question. Um, but when you question, you look for answers and you search. And I think when you are in this questioning phase that you look and by finding these answers, your faith comes more alive and comes more to life. And as Bianca said, I like seeing faith in the day to day things, a stranger smiling on the road, a fruit that's really tasty, a piece of art that caught my eye. And when I think about these things, I realize that the creator of all of these is the same creator that made me. And that is, I think, what faith means to me, that I understand that I, too, am the son of God. So how can we live our faith? 
Um, I think in any other relationship, communication is key. And so is to keep our faith alive and our relationship with God alive. Communication is key. Um, and as Bianca said, it's very difficult because we're always busy and hectic. But I think it's very wise to stop um, and be still and know that you are in the presence of God and that God is with you. And spend some time in silence and listen to this voice of God in you. Um, on a more practical side of faith, I think living faith is by treating others the same way you would want to be treated. You'd want to be treated with kindness, with love, with care and compassion. And so you treat those around you with those same things. I learned to live my faith when I learned what it means to be a Rasalian, to be honest, because I believe that we can live our faith by being of service to others. Like Joe said before, it doesn't matter which door you enter through when um, you went, um, when you become a Lasallian, when you learn what it means to be a Lasallian, but all of the roads will lead together to the three faith, service and community. Um, and I think so for this reason, the more we keep others in mind, the more we try and be there for others, the stronger our faith is. Being part of a community also helps. I believe that people will really motivate you to look after your faith, not necessarily directly, not by necessarily talking about faith, but by living it together. I also believe that um, living your faith isn't something passive. So yes, it's important to pray and we should do it as frequently as we can. But I believe that we need to be active as well in our faith. And we can do this by looking after the people around us and in our community and thinking of others rather than just ourselves and what we want and need. What do you think are the stumbling blocks in having and keeping the faith? Um, I think one of the biggest stumbling blocks is the void, um, the silence, the emptiness, in the sense that you do your part and you pray and you live your faith, but still feel some kind of emptiness. Um, and I think that is completely normal in the journey of faith. And we can look at big saints like St. Teresa of Calcutta, who spent years and years feeling this emptiness. However, she didn't give up and she prevailed in living as an example of faith and helping those around her. Um, so I guess, although not feeling anything can be hard, if one keeps living by seeing Jesus and those around him and helping them, the weight of this massive stumble block will be bearable to carry around. So for me, I think the biggest stumbling block is when we let the busy and hectic life I mentioned before take away from the time we need to reflect and think about our faith. Faith is something that needs exercise. Um, and now and then we do need to think about it. We need to reflect on it and give it time. It's normal that sometimes we are going to forget about it, but it's also equally important that when we realize this has happened, we remember to look after it again and look for God in our lives again. Thank you, Bianca and Joseph, for sharing your thoughts. And thank you all for joining us. We now have a challenge for you. In the coming week, we'd like you to see God in all those around you and help at least one person every day and spread this message to everyone you meet. St. John Baptist de la Salle. Pray, Pray for, for us. Man. Live Jesus in our hearts. Forever. Stay safe, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.